March 18, 2020. It is Wednesday morning. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the changes that is affecting businesses. I think one of the things that uh, that I'm seeing a potential shift uh, to what we call a traditional uh, business model, and this has to do with Taekwondo. So, if you are taking martial arts class, uh, or if you're going to gym, for example, you do know that uh, you're aware that the gym is closed, and most Taekwondo places are closed as well due to the coronavirus. So what do instructors do today? What, what are they going to do? Because this affects their livelihood. So one of the things that I start seeing uh, from my dojo, from you know, MCMA, is really helpful to see is that uh, they're starting to provide online recordings uh, for right now, and then hopefully we'll soon to go live on YouTube or some sort of a live streaming uh, to allow students to continue to practice, to allow students to continue to uh, have uh, the training that we need. So there have been some debates and questions going on in the form for Taekwondo, especially for uh, practitioners and for uh, instructors as well. One of the things that the people ask is, well, is it worth it to provide those trainings? Is it worth it to go online? You know, what happens when we go online? Is it no longer uh, you know, viable then? Am I now competing with everybody else uh, in the world? So those are real valid concerns. I think what I see is that there is a need to provide some sort of continuation for students to practice at home. Now, I believe that it is never going to take away the benefits of being in person, uh, doing the training in a class. Because in person, the instructors there, they can see what you're doing and they can provide the necessary adjustments and feedback to you. When you're not, uh, you know, when you're not truly in person, then it's hard to see what is, what the students is doing, you know, what are the things that we need to adjust. So, I would say don't worry about that, but I do see a need for uh, online, uh, additional online classes that help support the training. Especially like for me, when I am traveling, for example, you know, I don't have to, the luxury to be at the dojo that I'm at. So I don't get the train, so what do I do? So it'd be beneficial to see some online training provided so that some of us can do some of the training at home. Yes, I do know how to do some of those at home. I can do that on my own. I can go to the gym. But it is beneficial to continuously to improve uh, on what we do. So the forms, the kicks and things like that, we can do all that at home. But, you know, the fact that schools are doing online recordings, uh, online classes, where they provide, you know, for 30 minutes for set specific hours, it's like going to the to class itself, they then you know provide you instruction on what to do. Those are very beneficial. I think it's a supplement, and I think for those that are going in that route, I think I believe it will only increase uh, their level uh, of commitment, their level of uh, expertise, and also bring in more students uh, to the school. So for those who are so ingrained in the old ways where they shut down schools, they can't do online, they don't do any of those things, I think we will probably see, you know, uh, a negative effect on them in the long run. So, for those that are doing it, I would say MCMA, for example, uh, Master Chang's Martial Arts uh, out in Raleigh, kudos to you guys for doing this. Uh, I'm looking forward to those online classes. Bye.